Lesson 4.1, Break Apart Ones to Add. Breaking apart a number will make it easier to add. When we break apart a number, we can add some of the ones to the greater add-in to make another 10. So let me show you how this works. If we need to add 29 plus 3, we have two tens, nine ones, and we think nine ones needs one more to make a 10. So we break apart this three into a one plus a two. We take this one and we give it to the nine. We make another 10. Now we've got one, two, three tens and two ones. 29 plus three is equal to 32. We break apart ones to make a 10. We use this as a way to add. If we're going to add 36 plus nine. We have three tens, six ones. We ask ourselves, what do these six ones need to make a 10? It needs four more. We can take four from here, from the nine, and give it to the six to make a 10. We break the nine into a four plus five. When we give the four to the six and make a 10, now we have four tens. We take four from here, from the nine, we give it to the six to make a 10. Now we've got one, two, three, four tens, and five ones, we have 40 plus five, it's equal to 45. Here we have 17 plus five, we have one ten, seven ones. We ask ourselves what these seven ones need to make a 10. They need three more to make a 10. So we break the five into a three plus a two. We give the three to the seven. We make a 10. Now we have one, two tens and two ones. We broke the five into a three plus a two. We gave the three to the seven to make a 10. Now we have two tens. We have these two ones still left over. We have 20 plus two which is equal to 22. So it's very important that we think, how many do we need to make a 10? We have one 10, eight ones. This eight needs two more to make a 10. Now we know how to break the six up. We know how to break it apart because we need a two. So two is one of the numbers we break it into. That's gonna leave a four, so we're gonna do two plus four we give the two to the eight and make a 10. Which means now we have another 10. We have one 10 and another 10 that we made with the eight and the two. So that's two tens. And that's gonna leave four ones left over. So 18 plus six is equal to 24. We break apart the six into a two and a four because we asked ourselves what the eight needed to become a 10. It needed two, so that's one of the numbers the six needs to be broken into. So here's an example with some 10 frames. We have 17 plus five. We have 17 here, we have a 10, one 10 and seven ones. We wanna add five to it. We can see that the seven needs three more to make a 10. So we break apart the five into a three plus a two. We give three to the seven. One, two, three, now we made another 10. Now we have two tens, two ones. 17 plus five is equal to 22. We can draw quick pictures to break apart ones to make a 10. We make a line for tens and a little circle for the ones. We have 24 plus eight. We make two lines for the two tens, four little circles for the four ones. 
We're adding eight, so we make eight little circles. And we can make tens. This four needs six more to be a 10. So we can group it. Like that. And now we've made a 10. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we have one ten, two tens, three tens, and two ones. Three tens, two ones is equal to 32. Here we have 45 plus 7. 45 is four tens, five ones. We're going to add 7, so we made 7 little circles. And what does this 5 need to become a 10? It needs 5 more. So we can group these 5 with 5 from the 7 to make a 10. Now we have 4 tens, 5 tens, 2 ones. Do you know what 5 tens, 2 ones is equal to? If you said 52, you're correct. Now, if you notice in this one, we asked ourselves what 4 needed to become a 10. We can also break apart the 1's place of the greater add end to make a 10. So here, this is the greater add end, and we made its 1's into a 10. Well, here we have 34 plus 8. That's 3 10's, 4 1's plus eight, that's eight ones. We can make a 10 with the eight ones and two of the ones from this four. Then we've got one, two, three, four tens, two ones. What we're doing is we're asking ourselves what this eight needs to be a 10, and it needs two. So we break the four into a two plus two. We do 2 plus 8 to make a 10. Then we add the 3 tens to 1s as 32 and add the other 10. And 32 plus 10 is 42. So we can make a 10 from these ones or these ones. But generally we do it with the ones in the greater add-in. Let's try some higher order thinking skills. Mr. Lee sold 15 apples and three pears. Then he sold double the number of oranges as pears. How much fruit did he sell? So think, we need to add up all of the fruit. And double the number of oranges as pears means we use the number of pears two times for the number of oranges. It says, 15 apples, three pears. Then he sold double the number of oranges as pears. Since pears are three, oranges must be three plus three. That's double the number of oranges as pears. We can draw quick pictures. 15 is a 10 and five ones. Three pears, we have three ones. For oranges, we have three ones and three ones and we can group them all together and add them. We have one ten. Let's make some tens from these ones. We've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if we circle these, we've made a ten. So we've got one ten, two tens, and four ones left over. Do you know how much that is? If you said 24, you're right. And we label it that it's how much was sold. We could also say 24 fruit sold. And we're going to solve a word problem. And we're going to learn that there can be more than one way to solve a problem, but one way is usually easier than another. It might be faster. It says Sarah made 24 red bracelets and seven blue bracelets. Then she sold five bracelets. How many bracelets does she have now? 
we think we can make a quick drawing of 24. There were 24 reds, so we make two tens, four ones, and seven blue. We make seven little circles for the seven blue bracelets. And we think we can cross off the five that we split a seven into that she sold and then add what's left over. So instead of adding these right away, we can break the seven into a two plus five so we can take away the five she sold. Now that that's gone, we just add the 24 plus two, which tells us she has 26 bracelets now. Now the other way we could have done this is we could have added the 24 plus seven and we could have regrouped this. We've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we would group these as a ten, and we would have three tens with one one left over. See? Then we could have taken the five away. And then we would have had to figure out three tens and one one minus five. And it was a lot quicker and easier to just break the 7 into a 2 plus a 5, remove the 5, and then add the 2. Do you see how I did that? So one way could be quicker and easier than the other. So as you're breaking apart numbers, ask yourself what that one's place needs to make a 10, and then you'll know how to break up the other number. In our next lesson, 4.2, we're going to talk about using compensation, making tens. And that's pretty much what we're doing right now. We're going to do it a little bit more, and we're going to get more into it. I hope you have a really nice day. Stay strong. I'll see you next time. Bye.